Hey guys, good morning. I want to talk to you about something that drives people that and this is to help you um, in the long term find clarity, find motivation where not only do you feel motivated, but it seems so natural. Um, I think it's natural to be motivated and natural to want to do and want to be and want to accomplish something. And this, I'll be honest with you, this sound, this just a couple years ago would have sounded like BS to me. Um, it really would have. I thought, you know, very differently uh, about motivation a few years ago. So I want to share with you just the beginnings of something that I'm learning uh, that I find very, very interesting. And so that's what I'm going to be talking about. Um, my name is Kyle Studer. I recruit and train life insurance agents across the country, and we focus in final expense, Medicare, and annuities, <clears throat> primarily the senior market. If you want to know more about my agency, kylestuder.com. Scroll to the bottom. There's some contact information. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's early in the morning here, so I'm uh, going to do some writing. I'm working on a book and um, trying to keep it reasonably quiet so okay so one of the biggest uh for those of you who don't know like i started in life insurance at uh 23 years old uh got licensed october 2013 we sold mortgage protection final expense i started at a 50 percent contract level i was in this multi-level marketing the mothership uh of multi-level marketing uh insurance companies okay they all came from Amway, um, lots of motivation, lots of BS, okay? Uh, there was good things, there was also a lot of BS. So, I was there for four and a half years, and it was motivating. They helped me grow a lot. One, So, eventually, I went independent for reasons I won't get into, um, if you want to know why. Go watch the video, <clears throat> MLM Cult Leader Speaks the Truth, Kyle Studer, you'll see it. But so, I decided to go independent, right? Um, started working as an independent agent, doubled my commission contracts, uh, still buying leads, still using the same sales principles. So, a few years into this, right, I decided, you know, I want to start my agent. I want to start an agency again. You know, recruiting in the MLM world didn't work, but I want to build my own agency on the independent side. You know, I think I have value to offer, and I think I can help agents. And so, one of the biggest things that I am still currently learning about, but I've realized this. I didn't have this word for it. I called it something different, but I realized this. Um, the, the longer I was away from that company, <clears throat> it was like my mind opened back up. Um, and that's hard for people to understand, but now I'm reading this book, actually listening to the audiobook, of why it's starting to make sense to me. So, uh, if you, there's a Rainmakers podcast with Earl Hall, where I'm talking about the MLM problem in the insurance world. And one of the things I mentioned to him is that one of the biggest perks that came to me by going independent and by running my agency in the fashion that I do, one of the things that I did not expect that has been such a huge deal is what I would, before I would refer to it as creative control. Just meaning that I'm not trying to fit into somebody's box. I'm running my agency with my intellect, my mind, my brain, my creativity. Um, like when I was in the other world, in the MLM agency, like I would have never thought to write my own book about insurance. Uh, I would have never thought to create apparel, create a YouTube channel. Um, I would have never, I just never would have thought of it, to be honest. Maybe it was just me. Um, but I felt very, like, suppressed. But I didn't know it at the time. 
Well, when I got out from under all that influence, you know, I mean, you listen to three or five conference calls a week. You go to a meeting every week in person. You get on a live Zoom or live uh, live stream every Wednesday for, you know, an hour, two hours. You're attending live conferences. They have so much influence on you. Um, if you are dedicated and you dive head first, you dive in head first, like they're getting into your mind and they're getting into your heart and they have a huge influence on you. Um, so the, let me talk, this is what the video is about and maybe I'll shoot another video because I'm five minutes in and I'm just getting to this, but creative control. Now I'm listening to a book called Drive like motivation drive by Daniel Pink okay he breaks it down to three things that human beings are really driven by one of them of which of which is called autonomy uh, autonomy which is the feeling of being autonomous self directed give you some examples here the right or condition of self-government, a self a self-governing country or region, freedom from external control or influence, independence. That's probably the best one that I'd see here on uh, Google. Freedom from external control or influence. Now, a lot of brand new agents they need this. They need this control. You know, they need the structure. Somebody's got to give them a structure. Somebody's got to give them a blueprint. Now, you don't need to do it for 50% commissions, and you don't need to do it in that fashion. Um, we've got plenty of agents who have come into my agency. I've told them the blueprint. They've worked it. They, were, they knew why they wanted to do the business, and they did it, and they were successful. So you don't need to be like, you know, have a leash and be like pulled around and controlled like that. But freedom from external control or influence. Guys, my creativity's come back. Like I said, I'm writing a book. I'm working on something else I don't want to talk about right now, but something that I'm aiming that to really change, make an impact on the industry. Um, it's cool. But, you know, we'll see if that happens. But there's a lot of things that I'm doing that my mind is just opened up, guys. Like, and I, I attribute it to autonomy. And I was listening to Daniel Pink talk about this. And this is the cool thing, okay? So let me tell you about this. The very first company, like a, the, this is in the corporate world, a W-2 world that was trying to incorporate autonomy or creative control or like get the creative juices flowing. And so they're trying to figure out what motivates people. And they started studying it, started reading studies. So they said that in, in jobs where the tasks take rudimentary cognitive ability like i don't know like let's say boxes are coming by boom put a sticker on a box boom stick put a sticker on a box boom put a sticker on a box what time is it holy hell you know we got another three hours till lunch boom very rudimentary cognitive ability you don't have to do you don't need to do much right like pretty simple you're not really engaged it kind of doesn't work your mind for tasks like that they found that carrot and stick type rewards were very effective exactly how you would think they would be like hey if you load 500 boxes a day you get a $50 bonus hey if you load 750 boxes a day or 650 boxes a day you get a $75 bonus right and there's these tiers We've all likely seen some type of job or compensation like this. That works for those rudimentary 
cognitive ability tasks. But if it takes any kind of creative ability, if it takes any kind of thinking or like real cognitive mental focus, like sales, for example, um, these carrot and stick things don't work. Now, I was thinking about the multi-level marketing world, like literally, it's carrot and stick. It's like, okay, so you're coming in at a 50% commission and if you sell 5,000 issue paid, so you gotta sell like 7,000, you sell 5,000, two months consecutively, you move up to from a 50 to a 53% or a 55%. Then you sell 7,500, you move up to a 60, you two, two months consecutively, you move up. So every two months, you're moving up 5%, right? That's where they make a lot of their money. Well, they make a lot of money anyway because you tap out at like 85%, 90% as a producer and they got 100% spread. <laughs> so, all right. So the carrot and stick stuff works for those types of tasks, right? So what the first company to incorporate this type of stuff was a company called 3M. Now, Google, if you've heard of Google, I've got Google pulled up right here. I got Google right here. I've got Google Docs pulled up right here where I'm working on my book. So Google, we all know it. Um, Google, since the company started, has done this. Now 3M, they used to have something they would call 15% time. So that means that if you're a 40 hour employee, you get to dedicate 15% of your work week, every week, to whatever you want, to whatever you want. Creative, thought-provoking projects, ideas, inventions, like whatever you want. Now, they might have some type of guidelines, but this is what they find. This is what they find. The more guidelines that they put, the crappier results they get. So like literally, if I were to say, hey, think of a really creative idea for my insurance business, that I, maybe a, a t-shirt, I wanna market a t-shirt, or I wanna market this or that or the other. Think of something really, really, really awesome, really creative, and I'll pay you $1,000 to do it. Well, once I say to your mind, I'm gonna pay you $1,000, once it becomes a commissioned, here's the key word, once it becomes a commissioned, job or opportunity, the results suffered. There was less creativity. Interesting. It reminded me of like, when you set out to make money on something, it's just got a totally different feel. It's got a totally different feel when you go to work because you have to. <laughs> because Tony, your boss, told you you gotta work Monday through Friday, 9.30 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. You get a lunch at 12 and it's unpaid. Like, totally different feel. So it's an amazing feeling and so empowering for those people who go and become insurance agents in any regard, my agency or even an MLM where they're like free. As long, and you know, they're working for themselves, they're self-governed to some regard. Now, MLM is a much less self-governed uh, setup than what mine would be. Um, so there's like there's levels to it, of course. But so, 3M during their fifteen percent time, they this is where they came up with the posted note. right like a post-it note it came out of this 15 percent times what they called it um where it's very unstructured very creative um there's no real goal your job is basically and this is what the book and i like i said i'm just beginning to learn about this but the book kind of says like what you're tapping into 
with this type of an arrangement, this 15% time or the 20% time that Google does, um, where it's non-commissioned work, it's like there's a part of us that wants to make a contribution and there's something in in human beings that like money money motivates money is a motivator but number one not everybody is as motivated by it and when you when you're motivated only by the money I don't know if it's a direct correlation but so far it sounds like when you're motivated by money, like, create creative juices come down. So, like, <clears throat> and I'm kind of in an interesting stage in my career where, like, I'm writing a book, right? Never written a book before. But there's information that I want to share with agents in our industry that I think can help. And so I'm writing a book. No one's paying me to write it. <clears throat> it's non-commissioned work. It's creative. It's me up early in the morning at 4.30 before my kids get up and chaos ensues. Writing a book. Just me. I'm not getting paid for it. Now, perhaps I will. People might buy the book. People might like the book. It might sell a lot. It might sell a little. Um, <clears throat> but you see, it's non-commissioned work. YouTube. Now, just recently, a couple months ago, I started getting paid by YouTube, you know, not a lot, but I'm ecstatic about it because it'll grow over time, and I didn't set out to make money on YouTube. I set out to add value and to share what I've learned and then ultimately use it to attract agents, right? Try to find agents who, which this is a really... This has been very effective because the content, like, people watch it, and if they like me, not everybody does, but if they do like me, they reach out. So the people that I'm attracting, like, they hear me say certain things in my videos. Oh, I like that he said that, or oh, I like that he thinks like that. So our values or our thought processes kind of align a little bit, and then they, so I'm, it's helping me to attract what I would say is the right people. Um, but I didn't set out to make money on YouTube. So there's a lot of creativity. It's, I would consider it non-commissioned work. Now, if YouTube became my primary income source, you see, um, where I'm, I'm, well, I've got to think, I've got to think about creative ideas because I'm, that's just how I make my money. You're like putting a lid on yourself. You're losing the autonomy almost because now you're doing it not for value, not for autonomy, not for not from a creative place, but from a necessary place. You need it. You need it. And so now when you need something, it's like you're subconsciously, some part of you is saying that you don't have it. And it it suppresses you. So I don't know if this is clear. I don't know if this is going to help anybody, but I'll tell you, one of the very best things that's come from me running an independent agency where I don't talk to anybody. Uh, I talk to my agents, of course. I very rarely send an email, you know, up the totem pole if I have a question. It just let it lets me be me. And it's kind of showing me that everybody has special ability you watching this you have individual talent skills perspective your perspective is unique now everybody says but then only a few people are courageous enough to say yeah it's valuable I'll share it thing is everybody's is valuable but you gotta have the courage to share it so <clears throat> self-governing
freedom from external control or influence. I'm just telling you, creative control or autonomy turns out it's a major motivator for people. Um, I've called it creative control for many years that how I can sell final expense. I can start promoting Medicare. I can only promote Medicare supplement or I can promote Medicare Advantage and supplement. What's the difference? Well, you gotta be a hip certified for Medicare Advantage. I could start promoting annuities. I could start promoting mortgage protection. I could start telling my agents they should start building a team. I should. I could tell my agents that they shouldn't. They should focus on their, their personal production and then hire people. I can write a book, create apparel, clothing. I can create whatever I want. Um, like the world is wide open. So it's been cool, I mean, I'm still an insurance agent. I'm still using this vehicle, but <clears throat> I'm not. I'm not fitting into somebody's box. Um, sometimes fitting into somebody's box in the beginning is good because you need a blueprint, especially in regards to personal production. But after a while, I think that the uh, maybe it's just for certain people, but I don't think so. You know, Google, they do the 20, like 3M did 15% time. You know, Google, they did 20%. They had to beat them. They did 20%. Um, what do they call it? Yeah, 20% time. That's what they call it. Well, a lot of the most creative, profitable ideas have come from this 20% time. I forget what all he listed, but I do know that Gmail, like, Google email, Gmail came from 20% time. It wasn't something that they set out to do, like, we're going to do this, and we're going to be a crusade in the email world. We think email can be better. No, it was just somebody, guy or, guy or girl, during 20% time, that was, they had this sense of autonomy there. 20% of their working days, like, you know, like, one day a week. If you work Monday through Friday, it's one day a week. You get to work on this. You get to pour into this creative. It's yours. It's your baby. It's your idea. It's this is why so many people get so passionate about their own business. Um, and I mean their real own, their own real business. So like when I was a multi-level marketing agent, it wasn't my business. And if you're a multi-level marketing agent, it is not your business. Read your contract. It'll tell you. Don't listen to their words. Watch their actions read their actions that they put on the contract. So, it's not your business. You're not building your business long-term. It's not your legacy. It's not yours. Your, your IMO owns it all. Now, it is my business. It's my book of everything I do. Everything I do, I'm laying bricks in Kyle's life. I'm building Kyle's wall. I'm building Kyle's foundation. I'm building my, my family's foundation. It's mine. Totally different feeling. Like, it's yours. So, hope this helps some people. If you're interested in having more creative control or having autonomy, I'm huge on it. Um, I'm huge on it. We should talk. If you, like, I mean, there's so many things you can do. Number one, very logically, you, you increase your commissions. You're still buying leads. Your margins are bigger. Bigger margins in business, that's good. I mean, you sell policies, you wanna make more, or you wanna make less. Well, what products do you sell? Do you sell some kind of crappy products? Nope, we sell all the products that you sell, and then some, let me name a few. Mutual Home Hall, Foresters, Transamerica, Liberty Bankers, Royal Neighbors, Prosperity, AIG, Great Western, Sons of Norway, on and on and on and on and on. American Amicable, um, Aetna, you know, we've got them all. We've got Americo, um, John Hancock, just on and on. CFG, Columbian Financial Group. We've got them all. Everybody's got the same companies, guys. Very, very rarely is there somebody with proprietary rights to a product or or some type of ridiculously impactful product so we got them all and then some 
and you get paid more and you still buy your leads so you're more profitable that's not what this talks about autonomy creative control something special about it some people may have called it a flow state it's interesting i'm still learning but i wanted to share kylestuder.com scroll to the bottom let's talk